Hey guys, today we're gonna do some measuring for math and we're actually gonna make a snake, a paper chain snake. So you're gonna need to find your directions and this is from lesson 21 and on all the lessons down here at the bottom, I put a little line to help you guys know which lesson was which because I know it's gonna be confusing. The first thing we're gonna do when we do a craft is we wanna make sure we have everything we need. It says we need a ruler, got it. We need a pencil, got it. We need four pieces of green construction paper and three pieces of yellow. Well, I already have a problem because I did not have any green and yellow construction paper. So I did get construction paper, but you're gonna see my colors are gonna be different, okay? My colors are actually gonna be pink and yellow, all right? And we'll use those. You need scissors. It says you need glue, but I'm actually gonna use tape and a stapler. You need a snake's head cut out, which I did. Googly eyes. I don't have any googly eyes, so when it comes time, I'm gonna draw my snake's eyes on with a marker, and that's okay. And you need some small balloons. I have one small red balloon and I have one pink balloon. Doesn't matter as long as you have some balloons. It's okay if you use different colors. It might just be a silly snake, okay? I know right now I didn't feel like going to the store just to have to get the right color paper or the right color balloons, so I'm using what I have, all right? Now the most important part of this is the measuring part, so that's what I wanna make sure. Now I do have some of the materials already ready, but we are gonna work together on one sheet on how to measure it. So step one, we always start with the first thing. It says measure and mark nine, two inch by 12 inch strips of green paper. I'm using my yellow paper. And then cut them, all right? Then you're gonna repeat it with some of the other colored papers. So when I put my ruler on here, one of the things that we always talk about how is we wanna find the number one and we wanna put it on the edge. But in this case, my ruler fits exactly. My paper, if I measure it this way, is exactly 12 inches long. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna count every two inches and I'm gonna make a mark on my paper, all right? So I have to be at a number two to make a mark. So right here, I'm gonna make a mark. Then I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna make another mark at the number two. And then I'm gonna turn my ruler and connect them. And it's okay if you ask your mom or dad or a big brother or sister for help, because this is tricky. So that's gonna be my first line. Then I'm gonna put my ruler down again. And I'm gonna find the number two and I'm gonna mark it. I'm gonna move down, I'm gonna find the number two and I'm gonna mark it, and then I'm gonna connect my line. Notice how my strips are the same size because I'm measuring them. I'm making them each two inches wide. Line it up, mark my number two, move it down, mark my number two, draw a line. Doing it again, lining it up, marking my number two, Going to the bottom, marking my number two, and hooking my line together with my ruler. And I think we have room for one more, let's see. Lining it up, near, somewhere near the top, I'm marking one. Somewhere near the bottom, I'm marking my other spot at the two inch mark, and I'm gonna draw my line. So let's see how many I, oops, my line got a little crooked there. Got really crooked there. All right, but that's okay. I'll make sure when I'm cutting. So let's see. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, and I already made another one. We need at least nine. All right, so let's see if we have enough. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep, I got plenty. 10, 11, 12. I already cut my pink ones. So you're going to cut two sheets of paper. You're going to do exactly what I did and then cut them out. All right. So I'm gonna cut mine out quick, and then I'm gonna lay them on a pile where I have the pink ones and the yellow ones, each on separate piles, because the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make a pattern with those. So it's easier if they're already separated or sorted into the correct colors. Again, maybe you're not using pink and yellow. Maybe you um, have better paper than I did at my house, and maybe you're able to use the green and yellow like it said to in the directions. Again, I didn't have enough. I only found one piece of green, so I decided my snake is gonna be wacky, and it's gonna be pink and yellow, okay? So first direction was to take one color of paper, make your two inch marks and cut it. Do it again with the second color paper. And now we're gonna hook our chain together. It says you can use glue, but I find that glue falls apart pretty quickly. So I'm not gonna use glue. I'm actually gonna use my stapler. So I'm gonna take my yellow piece of paper first. I'm gonna hook it into a loop and I'm gonna staple it. So I have one. Now, because I'm making a pattern, I'm gonna use the pink one next. My pattern is gonna be yellow, pink, yellow, pink, yellow, pink. It's gonna repeat over and over again. Remember we talked about that's what patterns do. They say the same thing over and over and over again. So right now I have yellow, pink, yellow, 
pink. Pink's gonna be next. All right, let's see, does it tell me how many I need to hook together? It looks like I need three of each color. Repeat the pattern, nope, five. Five of each color. So let's see, I have one, two yellow and two pink, so I gotta keep going. This snake's gonna be long. So again, my pattern is yellow, pink, yellow, pink. Your pattern, if you're following the directions exactly, will probably be yellow, green, yellow, green, or green, yellow, green, yellow. But I didn't have those colors. So my pattern is yellow, pink, yellow, pink, yellow, pink. I have one, two, three. I gotta keep going because I need a total of five of each, it said. Gotta keep going. Now, what comes next? Yellow? No, because my pattern's yellow, pink, yellow, pink, yellow, pink, yellow. Pink has to be next. All right, and I think if I counted right, I need one more of each, but we'll check that in a second here. I'm gonna put it on and then I'm gonna stop and see if I got it right. All right, looks like I didn't mess up my pattern. Looks pretty good to me. It says the same thing over and over and over again, and that's what a pattern is. So let's see if I got my pattern right. Yellow, pink, yellow, pink, yellow, pink, yellow, pink, yellow, pink. And I have one, two, three, four, five yellows. And I have one, two, three, four, five pink. All right, so I have that, I have my snake. Now you can make a second one, all right? And the second one's actually supposed to be a baby snake. Um, so actually, I think I will make my baby snake, um, when I make that, it'll be a lot smaller, all right? It will be three strips of paper. And I gotta find another head because I don't have another head. So. Um, Yellow, pink, the baby's gonna match the mommy. Yellow, pink, and this one's gonna be a baby, so it's only gonna need three of each color. One thing you could do too is count out your pieces ahead. So you need it five of one color and five of the other color for the mommy or the daddy, and then you need it three and three for the baby. So one, two, three, one, two, oh, I need one more pink. You might have some extras left over, that's okay, I did. And I think you will too, so let's check. Yellow, pink, yellow, pink, yellow, pink. All right, and I have one, two, three yellow, and one, two, three pink. So I have my mommy, and I have my baby. All right, so give me a second here, I'm gonna have to grab a, I do have, I think, one piece of green paper I can use to kind of make a head for my baby. It might be a little crinkled, it might need a little work, might not be very pretty, and that's okay. As long as I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing, it doesn't have to be perfect. More learning that. All right, so it's a little crinkled. Mommy's head's a little crinkled. Um, baby's head, we're gonna make a little bit smaller because it's a baby, so its head is usually littler. All right, and they're not perfect, and that's okay. I think in your packet, there's one you can trace, so it will look a lot better than mine, and it probably won't be all wrinkled. All right, so you're gonna trace the mommy head or the daddy head and the baby head. I did have green for that, and you're gonna cut them out. All right, so we have our mommy snake, we have our baby snake. Now, I didn't have googly eyes for mine, and that's okay, so I'm gonna use a marker, and I'm gonna draw my eyes on my snake's head, and that's okay. So I'm gonna draw mama's eyes. How many eyes do you think a snake has? Two, just like we do. I'm gonna draw her eyes, and then I'm gonna draw the baby's eyes. His eyes are gonna be a little bit smaller because he's just a baby. All right, and then I'm gonna hook their tongue on. Now, I'm gonna use the little red balloon to be my baby snake's tongue, and I'm gonna use my stapler because I just find that to be easier for me. You can use tape. I might use a piece of tape because it didn't staple very well. I might just let it go like that. Snakes do kind of make funny faces with their tongues. Then I'm gonna hook the mama snake on. Her snake is pink, her tongue is pink. Again, I didn't have another red balloon, that's okay. And you know, some snakes even have, I think, tongues that might be different colors. I'm not even really sure. I don't know if their tongues are always red or always pink. Having a little trouble here with my stapling. Staple mama's tongue on. All right, and there we go. And then I'm gonna hook it to my paper chain, all right? I'm gonna glue the parent snake head to the um, little snake head and see how it looks. So here's its head. I think somebody's at my door, give me a second. Yep. All right, so this is what your snake will look like when you're finished, all right? This is what your snake will look like when you're finished. So you hook that baby on, and this is what it looks like. So check, check it out. Um, we got a mama snake, and we got a baby snake. So this is what you're gonna end up with. See how they look? Um, you can hang it up in your room. Um, you can do something fun with it. Maybe you can scare your brother or your sister or your mom. I don't know. But this is the project for today. Hope you enjoyed making it. Talk to you later.